Okay, so now that our power supply board has been unplugged and unscrewed from the monitor bezel, um, just thought I'd give you a little bit more information to help you out. Uh, one, what I didn't mention in the last segment of the video is that the capacitors are, are not expensive. Um, they're actually pretty pretty damn cheap, uh, much cheaper than obviously having to go out and, and purchase a new monitor. These two capacitors that need to be replaced are actually only 47 cents a piece. Um, and most websites will make you order them in bulk, um, which wasn't a problem for me, you know, so if you have to buy five or ten, then you're going to be paying, you know, two, three bucks, five at the most, to get the parts that you need uh, to repair, you know, otherwise a monitor that would cost you at least... Uh, at least now a couple hundred bucks to replace um, <clears throat> so with that in mind uh, just a, a couple a little bit more pieces of information um, your power supply board might have a, uh, a plastic backing uh, to it which mine did um, they're secured in place by these little plastic push pins so all you have to do is just uh, is, is push the pins through the board in order to get this piece of plastic to to get removed I'm not completely removing it just because it's work that uh, I don't think I I have to do uh, so what I did was I kept one pin in place um, so that you can see this is kind of dangling here and I just slid it out of the way of our soldering joints that we're gonna have to uh, to melt to replace the uh, these uh, capacitors and put new ones in um, just by looking at the back of the board you should be able to locate the uh, soldering points where the capacitors are um, my camera is having trouble staying in focus here but uh, these are, are where the two joints are at, um, right in between my fingers here. And uh, removing the capacitors isn't going to be a problem at all. You just heat up the solder with the soldering iron, and then you can uh, wiggle out the old capacitors. Um, once that's done, you just uh, put the new capacitors in. Uh, using your solder, you'll solder uh, the new joints into the board, and then uh, cut whatever excess clippings you need to with a wire cutter uh, off the capacitors. So uh, next part of the video, um, you'll see the new capacitors uh, already soldered in point. Uh, the, the power supply board will actually be uh, screwed back in, and um, we'll put the monitor back together and then power it on and see if that fixes our problem.